Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of 30 Inks, 30 Days. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Today we're looking at a brown ink from Ferris Wheel Press. Ferris Wheel Press Writing Desk. Things go out to pen friend Amy Alphabet for providing the sample for this review. All right, let's turn up the brightness so we can see. <laughs> this is a really nice, bright, um, brownish, it, more like a normal brownish ink. It's not like super bright in your face, but it is bright enough that you can definitely see that it has a little bit of shading in there. which is not being picked up by the camera. So I would highly encourage everyone to get a sample if you're interested in this ink. So here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows. It has no water resistance whatsoever. I would not use this on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Here is our ink painting of the day. Very nice, very nice. And here is our toilet paper chromatography. And this is pretty cool looking. It's got some like, let's see. There we are. It has some like brown and then it's got a lighter brown. And then right along the edge there's like a yellow. And then along that edge is green. And then along that edge there's like a teal-ish color. So this is definitely almost like a full rainbow of inks. Really cool. The last time I saw anything this crazy looking was um, Noodler's Rome Burning. That I can remember, remember of. <clears throat> it has occurred to me that I have forgotten the last couple of days. So, whoa, why does that look bo- Oh, that's weird. Right there, it almost looks blue. That's, that's a trip. whatever it's not blue so here's our writing sample Before I go any further, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to share this with our friends so that they can come and hang out with us too. At this time, I would encourage you to share this with your friends so that they can come and hang out with us. We're going to share this with the Twitters and the Reddit. And the Pinterest, 30 inks, 30 days, and the LinkedIn, 
and the Facebook and uh, the Tumblr and the blog. Oh, and I want to share it with the Discord. I have a Discord. If you guys are interested, um, I will leave a link in the doobly-doo. <laughs> so... Copy. So go check out the link in the doobly doo, wherever that is these days. Probably be the last link in the doobly doo if you're interested. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun. Show off all the funny things that I find on the internet. Summer not to some people's taste and other things are to most people's taste. So and if you come across something that's not your flavor then maybe it's not for you. But I do put some calligraphy things over there and share some other things that are probably more me that aren't for that don't have anything to do with calligraphy or pens. But I also put pens and calligraphy over there, so go check it out. All right, let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. There is just the tiniest bit of feathering, ooh, a little bit of bleeding, and a little bit of ghosting. Oh, why isn't this being cooperative? There. I'll bump this up just a little bit. Make sure that the autofocus is on. All right, there's just a little bit of bleeding and a little bit of ghosting. This is Lightweight Traveler's Notebook Paper. There's no feathering, nice shading, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is Super Lightweight Traveler's Notebook Paper. I am gonna move this just a little bit. <laughs> is having trouble grabbing the page and there is ghosting. This is Moleskin 70 GSM, Feather Like a Chicken, Blood to the Page. This is Field Notes Journal. A little bit of feathering, Blood to the Page. Fabriano Equa 85 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. A Yush 100 GSM paper. A little bit of shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oyster 1917. Nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of ghosting. Midori MD paper. Nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of ghosting. 52 GSM Tumaway River. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Cosmo Air Light, 75 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Nemesine, 80 GSM dot grid. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford optic paper, a little bit of shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. B7 bulky, 75 GSM, nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. Clairefontaine, 90 GSM, nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, tiny bit of ghosting. 
exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. A little bit of shading, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Up and up wide rule composition book from Target.com. Nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. True red composition book from staples.com. Nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, tiny bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Apica notebook paper, 81.4 GSM. Beautiful. No real feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. This is the Nanami Seven Seas, 68 GSM, Tumaway River. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, heavy ghosting. Artist Loft, 100 GSM paper. A little bit of shading. Tiny bits of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. Nice shading, a tiny bit of feathering, no bleeding, barely any ghosting. U Style Notebook Paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, tiny bit of ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. I find that the darker the ink is, the more ghosting it has. This is Mead Five Star Notebook Paper. Feather like a chicken. Blood through the page. Sheffield Home Paper Goods. Nice shading, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a lot of bit of ghosting. Aqua Bee Cross Section Pad. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a tiny bit of heavy ghosting right there. Rhodia Dot Pad, 80 GSM. Nice shading. No real feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is HP Premium, 32 pound copy paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is the JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNailBooks.com. Barely any shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. A little bit of shading, no real feathering, a little bit of ghosting. Okay. Let's do a comparison panel to see where this ink lies. Hi Gristle, how are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Looks interesting. Dark walnut, definitely. It definitely has a walnut vibe. Okay, this is Ferris Wheel Press writing this. I'm doing very well, thank you. This is Ferris Wheel Press with the writing desk next to... Hello, I'm gonna move this up and move this in so I don't have to bonk my hand on the camera. Alright, Califolio Sepia. 
Ancre Havain, Vampire Red, Raw Sienna, Infinite Cube, Queen and Cat Queen of Hearts, Red Black uh, Red Black, Hippo Purple, Umi Marasaki, William Shakespeare, Callie Brown, KWZ Honey, Noodler's Golden Brown, Burley Wood, Terracotta, Dustin Truffle, Saddle Brown, Document Urban Sienna, this one's kind of close, uh, Smoky Quartz, Script Brown, Lee Dete, this one's kind of close, Kitsinia Barna, Polar Brown, this is Walnut, so this is lighter than Walnut. Nightshade, Scotch Brown, this one's kind of close. Yule Tide, this one's also kind of close. Brown Sugar, Nanita's kind of close. Grand Canyon's kind of close. Mason Song, Muskrat's kind of close. Ginger Chicken is way off into the distance. SBRE Brown, Diamine Ochre's kind of close. Beaver, Pumpkin Cake, Kiowa Pecan, Terracotta, Ancre Brune, Golden Brown, Brandy Snap, Sepia, <coughs> Autumn Oak, Cognac Brown, Tobacco Sunburst, Rome Burning, Coco de Brazil, Sepia Black, Whaleman Sepia, Sepia, Be Beaver Dam Brown, Tortoiseshell Brown, Chocolate, Pick Me Up, Topaz, Becky, 510, Winter Spice, Parkos Brown, Chocolate Pudding, Chocolate Brown, Burnt Sienna, Nude, and Lady Rose in Gold. This one is also rather unique. Only had a couple of them in there that were slightly similar, similar so maybe if you have some of those, then you probably don't, <clears throat> don't need a model of this, because I gotta tell you, I'm not really a fan of uh, Ferris Wheel Press's pricing uh, gouging rather expensive for a small bottle. But hey, if you really like Ferris Wheel Press, then you're gonna like, you'll probably like this ink. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. <clears throat> I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. <coughs> and I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. I like my desk a little redder. Yeah. Ferris wheel press is too high, exactly. Alright, I'm out. Have a great day. Oka, love you, bye.